Hi there, thank you very much for watching this video. So today is the 1st of September. So what this video is about is that I've heard about this software um, that has been developed whereby we can um, write a program on application, on app, using the PHP programming language, uh, which will um, involve um, HTML and CSS and JavaScript. And then we can, um, from that application, we can convert that into an EXE file in Windows, which means that we can uh, run it as a Windows executable binary. Um, so I'm very interested in this, which means that um, if we are able to write any, um, let's say, app on a website, then we can convert that app very easily um, into some kind of Windows application. So that is a great idea. So um, as regards where this application is based, I discovered that this is located in GitHub. So it's over here. This is the address of this project, uh, which is um, cztom, czak, forward slash php desktop. And so if we scroll downwards on the main page, um, then we'll find a link um, to the downloads uh, for the binaries um, for Windows and for Linux. So I'll just right click and then select open a new window in order to download the Windows version. So this is the page for the Windows version for the PHP for desktop for Windows. And so to download this um, binary, we'll just um, right click on this link like that. And so as regards to the Windows version that has downloaded successfully, so I'll just click open on the zip file and I'll just copy the contents and just paste it into the current directory and just wait for that to extract the files out of the zip file. And then I've done some research on this application and supposedly we can just create the PHP files in the directory that is called www. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And what we do normally for this is that we should just um, run this exe file and it'll run the actual um, PHP as an app. So if I click on that exe file now, which is um, PHP desktop hyphen Chrome, then it says that um, the code execution cannot proceed because C VC runtime was not found. Reinstalling this program may fix the problem. So it's looking for VC runtime 140.dll. So I've just done a search on the Microsoft um, community website and I found this page here and it gives the link to download um, the version of that DLL, the VC runtime 140.dll for the 64-bit Windows. So I'll just um, do that now. I'll just download this .exe file. So about five minutes later, the actual download of that VC uh, redist um, for the 64-bit Windows um, file has um, completed. So this is for the VC runtime 140.dll file. So I'll just install that um, DLL now by clicking on this exe. Like that, and I'll just agree to the license. So the setup is now successful. So what I'll do now, I'll go back into the um, the folder for the PHP desktop um, and click on the exe file again and see what happens. Okay, it's still saying that the VC runtime 140 is not found, so we may need to reinstall this again. So what I'll do now is that I think because we just installed this VC runtime 104.dll file, I think we'll need to do a reboot and hopefully it'll work after the reboot. So I've just done a reboot on the computer and hopefully that has installed the VC runtime 140.dll and now I'll just click on the exe file again for this PHP desktop like that. And it's coming back with the same error. So I think um, it might be that it's looking for the 32-bit version of this file. So what I'll do is I'll install that as well from the same website as before from the official Microsoft website. So the previous link I ins installed was this one here for the x64. So I'll just do the same for the x86. So that is the x86 version now downloaded. So I'll just double click on that to run it. And now I'll just go back to the exe file for the PHP desktop and then click on it again. Okay, so this time it's successful and it's coming back with all these example PHP files um, over here. So what I'll do now, I think, is that I'll just um, write my own version of the PHP application and just see whether it works. It's just a basic Hello World application. 
So that is the www folder where all the PHP files are located that appear just now in that page. So I think what I'll do now is I'll just rename that to something like um, Orig, like that, for original. And I'll just create a new folder with the same name. Which is www and I'll just create a basic hello world um, PHP file and I think it needs an index.php so I'll just use that as a starting um, page. I'll just create a basic um, file inside notepad and call it index.php. So it looks like PHP isn't installed on this computer and so and what I do normally is that I um, tend to do my programming inside the WSL inside Windows, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux. And so when I do a which PHP, for example, it doesn't return anything. And so when I do a run um, on the sudo apt cache and then policy PHP, it doesn't find anything either. And so I think the latest version of uh, PHP is PHP 8.3. So if I do a... Um, apt cache policy on php 8.3 like that so it can't find that what about 8.2 it can't find that what about 8.1 so it found that so that's available for download from the um, archive ubuntu repository so i'll just go ahead and install that by running the sudo apt install php 8.1 like that and we just wait for that to install it will take 29.8 uh, megabytes. So that is installation now all completed. So now if I do a pwd inside the terminal, um, that is telling me that I'm inside the font slash mnt, font slash c, font slash users, font slash pci. So I'm already in the Windows partition, as it were, inside um, the um, WSL. So if, if I need to go inside that directory for the downloads, I just need to go inside downloads like that. And then I just need to CD into the folder that I created earlier for the PCP desktop like that. And there it is. And I just need to CD inside the www folder like that. And I can edit the index.php from there. So this is my very basic Hello World program, which is in PHP. So it just outputs the Hello World inside the H1 tag, and then it outputs the date function. So inside the date function, we need to pass in a formatting parameter. So we can pass in R for the RFC date format. So if we save that and go back to the other folder, where we have the PHP desktop chrome.exe, and double click on that, like that. So now we have the Hello World and the Sunday, the 1st of September 2024, with a time as well. So that's now working fine. So, so that's now all working fine. So what I want to do now is that I just need to um, go inside and see whether I can just rename this to something different or just copy that, for example, and just rename that to um, Hello World, like that. And maybe um, if I just um, create a new directory, possibly in the same folder, like that, and call that hello world. And then possibly copy this www and the hello world.exe into that folder, into the hello world folder, like that. So if we now click on the hello world.exe, what will happen? So it's now looking for all these other DLLs. So for that, we can just go back into the other folder and just copy all these other folders as well. And all these other files that were missing previously. So I'll just control C to copy and then go back to the other folder like that and then control B to paste. And now if I click on the hello world.exe again,
and there it is it's running fine now without any problems so what I want to do now is I want to just get rid of this um, black console screen when it starts so for that I believe that I need to edit the um, settings file which is the settings.json so if I just um, click on that and select edit in notepad like that and do a search for console show console will make that false and save that so now if I just double click on the hello world.exe again this time it runs without the black console so now I just go ahead and just um, zip up this folder hello world folder and then just send um, the zip file as um, a file to the users and they can use it on their own machines so that's about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful and informative. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Until next time, take care of yourself and have a nice day.